Hey, I'm an appreciative enthusiast, and today I thought we'd be sad together because I put together five of the saddest hip hop songs that'll probably make you cry. Well, they probably will, but they'll make you cry. So, uh, number one is Six Feet Deep by the Ghetto Boys. Uh, it's about funerals, death, violence, and what they've all been through in their lives. Very sad, and it's it also shows how they were shaped from their by their environment. You know how all these murders and stuff really affected them. Every rapper, all three of them, has a good part and they all describe in detail what really happened and how they feel. All around depressing stories. Next we have All Alone by Kid Cudi. Uh, this is a really sad song because it's about being alone and knowing that no one can help you sometimes. Uh, Kid Cudi in this album, uh, Mr. Rager. He's going through his own demons. He's trying to fight them by himself. Because no one else will help him. And he realizes that he is all alone. All alone. And uh, that's pretty sad. This is definitely the saddest part of the album by far. And it also does have a silver lining that Kid Cudi can fight his demons alone. It's just going to be really, really, really hard. And that's the hardest part to accept. Next, we have Only One by Kanye West. This song is the per is from the perspective of his mother, Donda West, who passed away in 2007. And she's basically asking Kanye to keep her memories alive through his children. You know, tell, at the time, it was Northwest, his daughter, uh, telling North to, uh, you know, remember the, the past, essentially. You know, don't forget about her, even though she's gone. It's very sad. It's really sad when you realize that Kanye West has always referenced his mother on projects, and in this one, it's like a almost like a final goodbye. But we are might be getting we, we might be getting the Donda album. Maybe there's a whole lot, a lot of stuff that went on yesterday on Twitter, so not really sure. But another reference to his mother there. Next, we have Good News by Matt Miller. This is a posthumous release from his newest album from the last album, Circles, and. This song is just depressing. I can't describe it anywhere, any way else at all. You're gonna cry probably. This is probably out of all the songs on the list. This is because they're not in order, but this one will probably hit you the hardest, especially if you're a fan of Mac Miller. Uh, it's like a goodbye, but he wrote this before he passed away from an overdose, so it makes you wonder. Like, did he know something? There was this, was it playing? Like, what was the whole story behind it? And it's very sad the more you do more research and try to figure out the, the mystery. So, uh, good news is definitely going to put you in that mood to just be upset. The last one I have today is I'll Be Missing You by Diddy, Faith Evans, and 112. This is a song tribute to the notorious B.I.G., you know, Biggie. Uh, it's very chilling, to say the least. It uses the song by the police, Every Breath You Take. Apparently it was not, per they were not given permission, but it's a whole different story. But this song really brings you a lot of sadness when you think about people you've lost in your life. You know, for them, they lost their best friend. But it, to you, it might be a family member or, or another best friend, a pet even. It's, song, it's a really relatable song. So uh, definitely check that one out too. But yeah, that's my five sad songs. Uh, thought I'd just share those with you. It's not the end-all, be-all list. If you guys like this one, I'd probably do another one of five more. But let me know in the comments if you what your favorite sad songs are or what your saddest sad songs are. Like the video if you enjoyed this. And subscribe here and subscribe already. And always have a nice day.